This LOS is described typical structures of securitizations, including credit tranching and time tranching. So continue with how securitization works. We're going to look at structure of securitization. A common structure in a securitization is subordination, also referred to as credit tranching, which leads to the creation of more than one bond class or tranche. Bond classes differ as to how they will share any losses resulting from defaults of the borrowers whose loans are in the collateral. The credit ratings assigned to the various bond classes depend on how the credit rating agencies evaluate the credit risks of the collateral and any credit enhancements. The motivation for the creation of different types of structures is to redistribute prepayment risk and credit risk efficiently among different bond classes in the securitization. Prepayment risk is the risk uh, is the uncertainty that the actual cash flows will be different from the scheduled cash flows as set forth in the loan agreements because borrowers may choose to repay the principal early and take advantage of interest rate movements. So again, prepayment risk is the uncertainty that the actual cash flows will be different from the scheduled cash flows as set forth in the loan agreements because borrowers may choose to repay the principal early to take advantage of interest rate movements. So the creation of bond classes that possess different expected maturities is referred to as time tranching. Because of the special purpose entity, the securitization of a company's assets may include some bond classes that have better credit ratings than the company itself or its corporate bonds. Thus, the company's funding cost is often lower when raising funds through securitization than when issuing corporate bonds. Okay? It is possible and quite common for securitization to have structures with both credit tranching and time tranching. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.